Okay, so let's go ahead and open up GarageBand. I've got mine in my Rockstar folder here. Open up GarageBand. Now, hopefully it'll open up in Gallery View, which is where we have all of our different things I'm working on here in GarageBand. If yours opened up into a song, like maybe something you were working on, just go ahead and tap on My Songs to get back to Gallery View. Okay, so before we begin to make our soundtrack for our video, let's take a look at what a song looks like just from kind of uh, from the outside without even playing it. Now, songs are built in little chunks, okay? You can see the little blocks of things here. I can tell by looking at a student's song if it's gonna be good by just looking at the blocks without even listening to it. It's gotta look right, okay? So we have um, different blocks which add variety to our song, but you notice these blocks will repeat. It's not like you can keep changing, changing, changing your song, but you need to just repeat certain sections and go to other sections so that you have a little bit of variety in your song. My synthesizers kind of stay the same throughout most of the song, but these other guitars and the strings and stuff change uh, to give variety to the song. Uh, you'll also notice that things work in multiples of two, with the exception of the very first one. We have one measure or one bar of introduction, and then we do four bars for the first verse, and then two bars kind of gives us a bit of the chorus, and then we do a second verse here, with four, then four, and then you can see two is an opening there, we have four as an opening here. So everything should be multiples of two, either two, four, six, or eight, that type of thing. Let's go ahead and rewind this just so you can hear. Oops, I pressed the record button, don't want to do that. Let's undo that. All right, back to the track view. Boy, that was almost really bad. It almost recorded over my song. Press play. You can tell it's a little bit of a stronger guy version of Firework. Okay, so then, yeah, that's the song. I also add, you know, you can, let me just fast forward a little bit here so you can hear this variety here. And it changes this for the bridge. Okay, that's what we're looking for, is this variety and in blocks uh, so that we can see that the song looks correct. Let's begin. So I'm gonna tap on my songs. Okay, tap on the plus button here. Create new song. Uh, smart guitar is fine, so just go to smart guitar. Okay, a um, couple of things. Uh, here's just a guitar. We, we're not going to do this. We're going to build our song with loops. So let's go ahead and turn off the metronome right there. We don't need to hear the clicking noise when we record things. And we need to record a little bit of nonsense just so we can see the track viewer. So I'm going to do that now. Press the record button. You know whatever just record something because now look a little button shows up here saying hey you can look at the tracks now see without having a track recorded it doesn't really like you to look at tracks so I'm gonna go ahead now and tap on the track viewer and Shazam there we have a track now now I'm gonna delete the green part here by tapping on it twice and I can hit delete don't delete the whole track just yet because it'll it'll just take us back to the instrument okay so Let's start by adding uh, our first instrument to our song here. Uh, but before we do, we need to make some settings adjustments. So let's tap on the wrench and let's change the tempo to 100, just like we talked about. Okay. And then let's go ahead and change the length of our song. And you might've played in GarageBand and go like, man, I don't like GarageBand because it's so short. All you get is a few seconds and then it repeats itself. Well, that's because all it gives you is eight measures of a song, and we now need a longer song. We need 57 measures or bars. Measures and bars are the same word. They mean the same thing. So we have eight. So I tapped on the little plus button. You see that little plus button? That means I want to make my song longer. So I tap on eight bars, and I say, yeah, let's change that to 57. You go ahead and do the same thing. There we go, 57. And now, look, I have 57 measures in my uh, song. And when we come back, we're gonna add the first loop to our song and start creating. 